Welcome back to Dirty 20, everybody. Today, we discuss the clone-creating arch-wizard Manchun. Let's get on with the show. Manchun is the epitome of the villain in the shadows, pulling the strings regardless of what the PCs are doing. Welcome back to our series, Characters of the Forgotten Realms, where today we are discussing the big bad evil guy, Manchun. Now, uh, due to his From the Shadows approach, Manchun hasn't necessarily appeared in uh, that many products. Or has he? Manchun is the character in the Forgotten Realms that Ed Greenwood created, and uh, he is the... Uh, founder of the Zentarim. Now, these guys are an absolute staple of Forgotten Realms, playing uh, the role of the shadowy, surprise, surprise, organization, who more often than not will do anything to achieve their goals. This places them uh, quite squarely in the evil organization uh, of the Forgotten Realms, often pitted against the Harpers, uh, which we may discuss uh, in future videos. But, um, yeah, these guys tend to be the bad guys. I say tend to because um, I I have enjoyed in the past, when I have come across them, um, the idea that they are not necessarily evil, uh, but they will kind of... They're the mercenaries that will do anything for for some gold. They also use uh, flying snakes to deliver messages, which is just badass in my opinion. Manchun, however, has appeared in a number of books, originally in the novel Spellfire by Ed Greenwood, uh, but more recently he has been featured in Waterdeep Dragon Heist as one of the potential villains that you can face. And as always, let's take a quick look at how he is portrayed in the book on page number 208 of Waterdeep, Dragon Heist. The original Manchun was one of the founders of the Zentarim. Evil to the core, he made enemies all across Faerun, including the powerful spellcasters such as Kelban Aronson and Elminster. Fearing that he might be destroyed by his foes, Manchun magically crafted several clones, but a mishap caused all of them to be awakened at once, whereupon they tried to destroy one another in a series of conflicts that came to be known as the Manchun Wars. Now, the original Manchun is dead, and it's widely believed that all his clones were destroyed as well. In fact, at least three are still alive. The one presently in Waterdeep escaped death by hiding out in Undermountain, where he eventually ran afoul of Halaster Blackcloak. After a brief spell duel, Halaster captured Manchun and amputated his left arm at the elbow for reasons unknown. Manchun escaped imprisonment and fled Undermountain, taking refuge in the city above. Attempts to magically regenerate his severed limb failed, forcing him to craft an artificial arm and hand for himself. Manchun took control of Collat Towers, a crumbling residence in the southern ward that was abandoned years ago by the two wizards who built it. The edifice is surrounded by a magical barrier that has the properties of a wall of force. Manchun rarely leaves the towers and uses a teleportation circle when he must do so, and thus is never seen entering or leaving. So immediately what jumps out at me from that is the clone angle. Beyond potentially exploring the Manchun Wars as like a time period for your campaign, I think that it's really interesting that you could potentially create your own clone and uh, have it, you know, just be entirely different and that being kind of the driving force. But for example, one of the three surviving clones that are mentioned in the book is a fella by the name of Orbach. Now, this surviving clone was actually turned into a vampire. And so, you know, you can still have Manchun in there, but it be something entirely different, which I think is really cool for the character. So imagine having him be a good clone or a good version of Manchun that was somehow, like, mutated when, in the during the cloning process. 
Um, but again, we'll delve into that a little bit later. We're going to include a couple of links in the description below of articles written by Ed Greenwood, which uh, kind of delve into Manchun um, a little bit further. I really recommend them. But I just wanted to mention one article which Ed Co wrote uh, back in the early 2000s, and it gives you a list of typical Manchun utterances. Um, <laughs> and, I, and I love this part. He says, always in a soft pleasant matter of fact voice uh which is really cool but i'm gonna try and do them justice now i can't be bothered wasting spells on them hang them for the citizens to watch these conclusions need bother us how deeply touching slay them i fear so Shall I decree it, or are you sensitive enough to heed a mere suggestion? You'll understand, I trust, that as long as I am lord here, I can allow no diabolical plans to succeed but my own. So, uh, Manchun is a dastardly evil character, and, you know, I think that he is fun, he, ha he has the potential to be a fun, just evil mustache twirling character but i think there is potential there to try something a little bit different again using the clone angle i hope to use it in my campaign soon and i really like this idea of the good clone angle perhaps the pcs discover a secret lab of manchoons uh during a dungeon delve and they're faced with a clone vat opening and suddenly uh, an unknown figure being placed in their care. You know, they they seem helpless and, and unaware of why they're here or what they're doing there. Soon, however, the other Manchun clones, they sense the emergence of this clone, and this clone is different. And that sets into motion a whole... Um, array of events, um, including, you know, being... Uh, uh, hunted down by the Doom Patrol, or maybe um, they are. There is a bounty put on their heads by the Zentarim, and you know they don't know why that is. I really imagine the moment that you reveal that this individual that they have been kind of taken care of is actually the clone of one of the most powerful evil archmages in all of the Forgotten Realms would be such an epic moment, definitely. Well, there we have it, everyone. I've given you a few ideas of how I might use him in my campaigns, uh, some of the interesting things about him. But uh, what do you think about Manchun? Do you think that maybe you would like to use him in one of your campaigns? Thank you for watching. Please do like and subscribe and click on that bell uh, icon to be notified whenever we release new videos. Please do let us know your comments down below. And... As always, keep slaying. If you've enjoyed this content, then please smash that like button, subscribe, share this around online, and uh, come and visit our website, www.lavictoriaproductions.com, to see all our past episodes, as well as our blog posts, and all the stuff that we're currently working on at La Victoria Productions. Why not reach out to us and tell us what you think of our videos? You can reach us on Twitter, at Mouth La Victoria is our producer. We are also on Instagram. I am Enano LVP, and our producer is Jazzy J. Chiro. We're also La Victoria Productions on Facebook and LinkedIn. Come on by and let us know what you think.